Hey, greetings and salutations. I came out to the garage because it's uh, what? it's 11:20 in the morning, and it's already over 100 degrees outside. So I decided to stay in the garage, and it's still, it's, you know, enough radius in here. It's pretty warm. But uh, over the weekend, I decided that I would try to uh, revive some of my old cordless tools, my old DeWalt's, and see if the if I could salvage any of them. And let me show you what's happening. I've got three of these, and they all failed about the same time. I haven't used them in years, but I keep them around because I'm a hoarder. And I'm trying to separate the wheat from the chaff here. So this is what's happened that just kind of happened um, all of a sudden to all three of these at about the same time. Put in a fresh battery. Well, it was a fresh battery. Good one, this one. Well, that's no good. Well, maybe I just need to power through it. Well, this one's fixed. But I got a, I got a new motor ordered for this one and uh, so I'm going to replace the motor on, on this one I think. I don't know, I'm going to put the clamshell together. Awesome. Let me try one more. <laughs> bye, bye. Battery. This battery is completely decorated. It won't even take a charge. And these other two, what happened? Oh, for frig's sake. Hold on. One good thing about being a hoarder is you always have spare parts. If you can remember where you put them. Ground. Measuring the voltage on this one is negative. Pretty warm though. Measure it again. Just that brought it down to nine volts. These are uh, what NiCad, and nobody makes NiCad batteries anymore. At least not in the prosumer uh, and the professional tools are all uh, lithium. These are circa like 2002, 2001, 2002, and uh, these are outmoded. But I figured if I could get one, 
going again that perhaps um, I'd put them back into service. DeWalt makes um, updated versions of these batteries and uh, their new tools, I guess they're the, you know, the bee's knees and uh, I'm thinking about um, getting uh, a new um, impact driver and a new drill. I've been using Makita for the last eight years and uh, that's been working out really good. And, but my Makita batteries are starting to get weak too. It's time to start thinking about uh, getting some new cordless tools. The tools themselves aren't that expensive. Where they get you is in the batteries. Battery technology is getting a lot better. Uh, you can get a lot longer uh, amp hours out of the new lithium batteries. I like DeWalt's new 20 volt battery setup. And they, I mean, they have a complete line of cordless professional duty tools like um, reciprocating saws, uh, panel saws, you know, worm, worm drive circular saws, power stations, they all use those 20 volt battery packs. And they also make an adapter that will allow to use that new square style battery in the old style tools. So uh, here I thought that my motors were junk and now I got a new motor that I paid $30 for. This one, this one might need a new motor altogether. Uh, but uh, this one seems to have fixed itself. Groovy. Uh, some, it's kind of disheartening to, to put your tools, put a battery in your tool and pull the trigger and it starts making smoke that smells like an old Lionel train. These tools don't owe me anything, but uh, the only reason I've kept these that long is because this still works. Pretty good actually. Now the problem is that the batteries are garbage. Of course they're 15 years old. They've outlived their useful lifespan by about 10 years probably more like 12 years but I keep them around because this thing still works really good and this one has the better chuck on it and I figured well make one out of all these spares and it turns out that the only thing that was wrong was that the brushes were dirty or perhaps there had some gunk on the uh, commutator and it had to burn through because that's all I can figure that happened. Now these particular tools were not only used, but they were heavily abused. They, they did not have a, a very um, easy life working in, uh, in the construction trade. Uh, and we, I use these all the time. The, the thing about cordless tools is that, you know, they're expensive. Even, even these, uh, this one was uh, a brand new unit and these others were uh, remanufactured factory remands, and you get these a lot cheaper. But even still, they they weren't cheap. I mean, even back 15 years ago, these were, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, that kit, the sawzall and drill, that was you know, like $400, which, you know, it's a pretty good chunk of change, you know. And the batteries are $100 a pair, so. Um, you know, and the batteries don't last that long. They, they're, they're a wear item. There's only so many cycles that those things are capable of uh, handling, and once you've uh, used them up, they're garbage. I don't want to buy a new charger, but I do have the old DeWalt radio, job site radio, that also is a charger. The radio doesn't work with the Tinker's Dam, but the charger works just famously. Okay, so that's back together. Fuck your uncle. You know, back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, I had invested quite a bit of money with DeWalt tools. All my circular saws were DeWalt. Um, my first reciprocating saw was a Milwaukee, but my second reciprocating saw was a DeWalt. And of course, you know, a plethora of corded, cordless drills and uh, grinders and, and uh, cordless sawzall. I never had a cordless grinder, but I had a couple of DeWalt grinders. Um, long story long, uh, I had one bad experience with uh, a brand new reciprocating saw that I bought from, from DeWalt, from Home Depot. And on the, like the second day that I was using it, it, it made the magic smoke. It was a corded tool. 
it made the magic smoke and quit working. So I took it to the uh, Black & Decker Service Center, because that's where you got to take it. And um, was told that um, the war it wasn't going to be covered in warranty. And it cost me 90 bucks to get it fixed. Brand new tool. And because I was using, um, I was using the tool on a, on a demo job, and it had a lot of drywall and concrete dust inside the, inside the uh, tool. Yeah, that's why they wouldn't cover it. And I'm like, this is a tool that's used in demolition. You understand? You're not going to warrant it because it has demolition debris in it. Okay. So after that, um, I, had, I paid to have the, the, the tool repaired. And it, had, it was the first generation of quick, quick release for the blade. Very similar to the uh, blade release on this one. So blade release on this is just a lever lock. You know, pull that lever. And they had a lot of problems with the first generation of this. And, um, you know, two days after I had the, paid $90 to have the uh, motor rebuilt or replaced on the tool, the cam lock stopped uh, releasing, it wouldn't release the blade. You pull on that and it would not release the blade. It was something inside. And I actually ended up breaking the lever. Took it back to them and they wouldn't warranty it again. And that was the last money I ever spent on a DeWalt tool. When my circular saws went south, I bought Porter Cable. I have both a right hand and left hand Porter Cable, seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Um, when uh, my sawzall finally gave up the ghost, which didn't take too long after that second fix, I bought a tiger saw, a Porter Cable Tiger Saw. I still have, coincidentally, the uh, original Milwaukee sawzall that I bought in 1992. When my DeWalt cordless tools started to fail on me, then I went to Makita. Good tool. Love it, but it's starting to get a little long in the tooth now, too. I mean, it's, it still works fine, but get a little worn. So it's time to start thinking about investing in some some power tools. And and uh, DeWalt was bought out by, you know, a, a big consortium in China. And all those tools are being made in China now by the same factory. I think it's DeWalt, Milwaukee, uh, Ryobi and a few others, they're all made in the same factory. But DeWalt seems to have a pretty good uh, track record now in, in durability. So I'm thinking about reinvesting in some DeWalt tools. And really what you're investing in when you're talking about uh, cordless power tools is you're investing in the battery system. You don't wanna have like a bunch of uh, different brands because the batteries aren't interchangeable. So you wanna buy a, a tool brand that has a battery system that services all those different tools and that's why I'm thinking about going to DeWalt because their batteries they like I said they have an adapter for I think 25 or 30 bucks it might not even that much that slips in there and allows you to lock in one of those big 20 volt battery pack all right let's remove this motor For reference, the purple wire is positive. You can see this one got a little warm here, and uh, it doesn't run very good. And here's the replacement. I got this one on uh, online for like 30 bucks. Where's the positive? There's the positive. This is because I have a wedge to keep the, the motor in place. And it's also a keeper for the wires.
Oh, listen to that. That's a bunch of torque use. Better. I got three functioning drill motors, uh, so all I need to do is get some new, new batteries, and I'm golden. I don't know. If you got anything out of this video, <laughs> hammer that like button. If you thought it sucked and I'm a fool for fixing an old DeWalt tool, give me a thumbs down button. Either way, share this video with your vast social media network. That really helps the channel a lot. I'd appreciate it if you do that. Thanks for taking the time to watch this silly little video. And uh, if you're so inclined, go down the comment section and um, comment. Yeah. Um, if you haven't done so yet, down underneath this window is a big red button that says subscribe. Click on that subscribe button. And then go right next to it, and there's a little picture of a bell. Click on that bell icon, you'll be notified of future uploads. <laughs> if, that, if that's something that you're interested in. Because apparently, it's not good enough just to click subscribe anymore. You gotta click the notification button, too. Ah, YouTube, it's getting hot in here. Holy cow. So, if you do all that, I'd appreciate that. That'd be cool. If not, that's okay, too. Thanks for watching. And until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and have a splendid day. I'm going inside. It's too damn hot in here. <laughs>